Mitchell & Weber was the first company in Cornwall to bring biodiesel to the county many years ago and now we're absolutely excited to bring HVO as a second generation fuel which is far cleaner and really will change the way we do things. The introduction of HVO fuel to us is a tremendous and a fantastic opportunity and to be the first in the country it's a great honour to be honest because we feel that the future has got to be green. We're trying to get our business to, to improve our green credentials and to get to net carbon and this is a fantastic way in which we can achieve that. HVO is completely different from biodiesel. HVO uses hydrogen in its manufacture whereas biodiesel uses methanol and the use of hydrogen creates a very clean and renewable fossil free fuel. We tested the tractor initially on its red fuel which ran very good. We then changed it over onto HVO 100. Our initial tests revealed that we had a 25% reduction in AdBlue usage which obviously is uh, reflecting that it's burning a lot cleaner. We also noticed that the maximum torque was slightly better and there was no difference to the power, a slight improvement if anything. We've been able to trial the HVO very quickly because it's a complete drop-in replacement fuel for fossil diesel. So it was nothing to just drain out the tank with fossil fuel and put HVO in its place and drive straight off. Fossil free HVO is going to be very important to our business. The farming industry generally has had very bad press recently on its carbon credentials. This is, gives us a great opportunity both as a business in Riviera Produce and also as an industry in the horticultural and farming industry to be able to reduce the amount of carbon that we're actually emitting. Going forward into the future though the key of this is going to be the price because at the end of the day our margins are squeezed and it's down to us to get our cost prices as cheap as possible. So we cannot afford this fuel to be more expensive than the current diesel one but hopefully with the uptake of this fuel in a much wider environment and the uh, greater usage in, in the agricultural industry, the cost of production will come down and perhaps in this country we'll be able to produce it ourselves because currently it's all imported um, and by producing it ourselves at a cost-effective manner we'll then be able to introduce it to all our tractors in our fleet. We're really excited that this is the first time HVO has been trialled in the New Holland tractor uh, we approached David and checked with New Holland themselves and they've confirmed that this is the first time in the country that it's been trialled. We're excited, the dealer is excited and the manufacturer is fully supportive and behind us.